Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome to another set of Let's Play Victoria 3 as Belgium. Uh, ooh, hey, we just passed mass conscription. Hooray! Some people are going to get less cranky about it. The other thing is in between episodes, I did queue up a bunch of new trade routes, both imports and exports, although not enough to fix our uh, coal shortage, although I did import several hundred units of coal. Apparently, I created enough trade routes to complete the Freedom of Trade event. It's where the marketplace of the world. Trade bureaucracy costs is actually not a problem. We will take the increased competitiveness. That might open up some more trade happening for us. Oh, did I overdo it on our convoys? I may have. Now, I did force all of my ports to be modern ports. We are getting kind of maximum convoys going on. I might want to go and take another look at my trade routes here and see. Hmm. I'd have to cancel a few. Well, let me cancel this silk one. As I say, you know, we do have a shortage of silk we're importing. I might just have to build some more ports. Grr. I mean, I guess we cancel those two that are kind of unproductive. Really not going to free up much in the way of convoys, though. Okay, well, let's just keep, keep things ticking on for now. Still shortages in Belgian Sine. Sine. Which might be related to our convoys again. Radio shortage. No one's got any radios anywhere in the world. Is that... Was this just our military thing? Was it this mode here that needs radios? No. Was it... One of these mobilizations, maybe that needs radios. That might be the case. This reconnaissance mode. This needs oil and automobile. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn those on. Okay, we've unlocked rayon, but I am going to go into telephone and then into radio. Because we are going to want that tech available for several different things. All right, power plants in Flanders are coming on. We don't have the shortage of electricity in Flanders anymore, but it's still quite pricey. So it's still going to be a good one for us to build. And at some point, yeah, when do we decide to maybe stop the subsidies for the power plants? I'm still thinking we might build a power plant in every state. Which this might be the first one here. Yeah, in Belgian North Cameroon. Let that finish. We still desperately need coal mines. It's interesting. So there's a shortage in the market, but you can see the local price here is low, which makes sense. Oh, your transportation is actually crazy. Um, that's not where I want to go. I wanted you to go to the state. You're running electricity already. You've got seven of them. Wow. Do I want to alt click you? I mean, you've got an actual shortage for us to fix. Minus 764. Well, I'm going to alt click three, which might not even eliminate the shortage. And then I'm going to shift click five more at the back of the queue here. That's crazy nuts. That's the private construction. Still building kind of a little of everything. Okay. Migration control. Technocracy. It does sound like. It's interesting. We, we might. We might. I'm actually wondering if I should just build a bunch of ports right now. Not used to dealing with such a freaking convoy shortage. Lake Victoria over here, right? I think so. What's this lake? Hmm. Railways, coal mines. Yeah, maybe I maybe I alt click a few ports. I think I might have to. You know what? I'm gonna go all the way up to a level 20 port in Flanders. Big trading place, and I'm gonna alt click it. We're gonna get a bunch more convoys from these. Theoretically, way more than we need, actually. If it's plus 200 per, tell hey, you what. I'll let these five finish, and we'll see where we're at. Some little scrambles. We haven't declared war on anyone in a little while, which 
I mean, maybe, because I'm wondering, like, I'm worried that the second I do, it's just because we're, we're going to have to go ahead and, uh, and build more industry in these places, but, and our queue is crazy full, but our budget is fine. Like, we're running a deficit, but at, at, compared to our, the size of our economy right now, that is nothing. This is basically break even point, and it's got me thinking about maybe building even more. All right, so more railroads have just come in. This place is still... Okay, it doesn't have a transportation shortage anymore, which is good. Insufficient construction for an investment pool. I mean... Do I build more construction sectors? I wonder. Well, again, we might kind of sort of be waiting for another just mode. Maybe that'll be what we do. All right, many coal mines being built, which is good because our... Shortage in our market is still definitely there. Although we have what we need. Oh, automobiles. Do I switch one of my motor industries over to this? I think we do. Just to get that started. Now, uh, what was that shortage? By a thousand? Holy crap. I went and did this. If I went into this, okay, that is more cars than we need. Maybe all of Flanders. Okay, we're going to do Flanders. So there'll still be a deficit of automobiles, but it'll be cut down significantly. It's going to need a lot more oil. Okay, we don't actually have an oil shortage, though, so that's okay. But we're going to start making cars. And ultimately, our entire motor industry is probably going to switch over to that. Yeah, the market price for coal actually isn't insane. So, like, we have a huge negative here, but compared to the amount of coal that's being produced... Yeah, sure, Finland. In fact, I wonder... Um, look at the Finnish market. Well, we don't really need wood. So maybe we can import some of that. Uh, export from Belgian market to you. You need some tools. Actually, your engines and your coal. You need a lot of that. Maybe we can pull you into our, um, our customs union. That might be swell. Okay, I'm going to pull back on these coal mines after all, because we don't actually have a crazy shortage. Railway here. Oh, railway. Okay, East Hustland's looking better. So we're going to consider our actual next move maybe a little more carefully then. I mean, there's still kind of a constant demand for coal. I want to increase my, mar my army. That's what I want to do. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go and... No options available. Really? For the artillery? Oh, the, it's, that's what needs the, the uh, um, radios. It's the artillery. I mean, we're tacking our way towards it. The telephone's about to kick in. Okay, well, maybe we keep making a move that way. Now, the telephone is its own building, right? It's an electrics building, and the radio is going to be a mode for it. Rubber tools, iron, lead. And then for the radio... Consumes... Oh, is it its own business? No, it's a mode. Okay, lowers rate telephones, increases radios, more electricity. Okay, that's fine. Then maybe what I'll do, let me take a quick look. Is there anywhere else that doesn't have electricity yet? Um, production. No, everywhere has got some amount of electricity present. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one building type. Well, oh, this is more oil. Can I build more oil? We're going to need tons of it. Yeah, Niger, although I've got greener pastures running here because I want to pull more people into Niger for running at the the oil industries. That's going to be a constant problem unless we go and invade somewhere in the Middle East, maybe. Which has never worked out badly for anyone. Okay, do we build up our navy? Maybe we consider this. Let's get some ironclads in here. 
There we go. We'll do a 10 and 20 ratio. There's no upgrades, although we're also not teching. Let me get the radio tech. Let me build an electrics. There you go. We'll do a stack of five in Flanders. We'll get that started. We've got interest in the Middle East. Has it not been discovered yet? I mean, surely there's oil around here, right? Yeah, discoverable resources. Maybe what we need to do. Oh, that's in the Ottoman Empire. I don't know about warring them. What about Persia? Even now, it's with the Ottoman Empire. And your tributary. But they don't have infinite amount of troops. Hum. Is that our target? Steam omnibus. Urban center throughput. Just adds consumption tax on automobiles. Now we'll take option one. Okay, I still want more artillery. I should spread this stuff out for the uh, workers here. Um, three. We'll bring up to nice 20. We need radios, but radio tech is in the works. We are running low on time, but... And there's still no one that can import radios. Nope. We went too fast on our military tech and not fast enough on this one aspect of industry. But that'll be okay. How's our education? No, we're still sitting at the cap. Get the naval bases, yes. What do we need for freedom of thought? Freedom of conscience or total separation? Oh, as opposed to state atheism. So, yeah, that's not going to proc. Poor laws. No, that would be weirdly regressive. If anything else, we want old age pension. Yeah, get these oil rigs, which are in the most aggressive mode we can. Do I go and build more construction sectors? Well, and we're going to have the power. More explosives. Oh, that is going to be really expensive. It would be nice to prep to move to this. Oh, destroyer unlocked. Um, oh, but we already have torpedo boots. Okay. I guess you don't upgrade the same way, do you? Oh, they're two different. Can I get you, if I unlock destroyers, can you upgrade? No. Really? All right. Oh, maybe they're old wooden boats is the problem. All right, which is making me think. Let's throw in some torpedo boats over here. Okay. Electric industry is a go-go. Publicly traded. lose money. Mostly because we don't need more grain. It increases fertilizer price. Same thing here. Although I will go and put you in the tractors mode, which needs more engines. Mm, I may have to just... Oh. There's just one place left. Or I thought so. You know, Here, just go to tractors mode. Screw it. I'm going to force you to do it. Uh, 
the barracks. I think what I need to do now is still go down. Where is electricity high? Oh, it's showing me other states in the place. Right. Because it says, oh, it's going to be a, a shortage. Uh, I think we forced that. Because again, this will free up workers. If we go to electric fences, it frees up a bunch of workers. I'm going to force this. I'm sorry. What doesn't have electricity? Botswana. No. Oh. I missed that when I was looking at the market goods here. I guess I wasn't... Oh, because the way I was sorting with the prices, what I need to do is almost sort by production. Hang on, if I'm sorting by production, shouldn't bots want to be at the top with a zero? I'm a little confused, but okay. So, South Cameroon here is a place that is producing electricity but not consuming it. So there's bound to be, there's got to be a building we can give you here that can be put on some sort of electrical mode. Like, right here. Like that. But yeah, we're going to do some more global changes here. Okay, power plant in Botswana. Theoretically, I'm hoping that's the last state that doesn't have it, but we'll find out as we go. Do still build those barracks. Um, what happened to my convoys here? Jeez. I guess we're going to go and build those after all. Okay, many more ports, please. I guess this is an entire market. So if the other people in my customs union are doing uh, trade route stuff, you know what? I really don't... Oh. That event went away. Let's say I don't actually need more throughput in those buildings. It's just going to be more grain, which is dirt cheap. I wonder if I should be building more food industries. Because they'd be able to consume more of the grain. Maybe put them in a better place. Standard living's pretty decent. I mean, current average is impoverished, but that's actually, you know, impoverished is actually good for the, uh, the time consideration. Coal fire, power plant. Um, I don't think we can do that nor can we necessarily consume the oil for it either. Like, clearly we'd like more power in places, but I don't have the coal to support it, or do I? Maybe we can do it on a state-by-state -state situation. Radio tech is almost there. Yeah, get these ports going. Jeez. Uh, no beer, no vote. I'm gonna keep that going. Election is a go. Um, anything in the journal I want to pin. Oh, we need to be using the guns in a war. We haven't gone to war in a while, huh? Oh, we can hold a grand exhibition. That was there at the start of the stream, or the start of the video, and I was like, when I was doing my trade routes and stuff, checking between, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna hit that button until I'm recording. And then I forgot to do it when we started recording. Such a shame. Are there any states I have that don't have any ports whatsoever? Because I like the idea of having one everywhere. No, okay, they're all there. Because even if they're touching another piece of land that's got a port, so they're not isolated, I might still want one locally. Just make sure we've got good flow. Okay, radio is unlocked. So we go to our electric buildings, um, which is probably near the bottom or not. Oh, we go to arcades. Service prices already aren't that high. It's going to use a lot more steel and electricity, so we'll wait. Electrics, right here. Uh, we're going to go, yeah, we'll go maximum radio production. That's going to be fine. I'm going to force it. Oh. Oh, because you need electricity for it. So hold on. Again, there's some state here that doesn't have electricity. I guess, okay, hold on. I should go here, go to power plants, and check... The building levels here. That's what I want to do. Okay, so we do have tons of places without it. So that other um, page with the local prices only shows me the places that have at least one. 
So, Belgian Heroerland, I want to find you. I know I'm pronouncing those wrong. And just make sure you're at the top. Okay, electricity everywhere, please. Tech-wise, compression ignition gives us what? Diesel engines for the cars. A lot more engine production. It consumes more oil, which keeps being a problem. But maybe? Also the dough rollers to free up a bunch of workers. Yeah, all right, let's go dough rollers. Now the, the research time's not quite as bad. Visitors from the colonies, we don't care about that. Taking another GDP dip here as we're making some changes. Number six greater power. So we've surpassed Austria by a mile. Okay. Yeah, they haven't moved in a bit and we've shot up like crazy. We've earned something like 300 extra prestige in a very short amount of time. Yeah, we got there first. Deal with it. Is there a place that doesn't have a railway? Uh, the answer to that is also yes. Let me make sure. I'm not shift clicking it. I'm just leaving it at the bottom, but we're going to make sure it's there. Okay. Build more Suez Canal. Dazzling souvenir. Oh, from our exhibition. Production research speed. Um, what are we researching right now? Yeah, production. Perfect. Matter of business. Cannot let these men tarnish the good name of the expedition. Shopkeepers can radicalize. Suspicious gentlemen charging extra fees. I guess if I do this, we just straight up get some loyalists, which actually is looking pretty good right now. The other side of the fence. People complaining about the difference in st living standard between us and the Netherlands. What? We do need to get that better. Clearly they're liars. Everyone knows the Netherlands. The Dutch are nothing but liars all the time. Coal fire plant. Okay, well, I mean, we could consider it in some places, maybe. Although, yeah, it would be... Hmm. Yeah, it's the expensive goods. That's not really going to get any better. Keep attempting to build some in Niger. Oh, they still have tons of actual peasants, too. Okay, you know what? I'm going to max this out. Can't subsidize it. We'll do that. They will need some more engines. But we are clearly going to need all the oil we could possibly get. Okay, now we theoretically have radios now. Which means... For my armies... Yes. So that's going up to 30. Oops. Now, you can have up to equal amounts. I might want to leave. We've got these over here. So let's build 20 more artillery. And I'll spread them out a little. One, two, three, four. Just to try to not run out of manpower in any particular state if we can avoid it. I wonder if we could take on the Ottomans as is. After we finish the dough whirlers, maybe we just power back into all the military tech. Matter of business. Oh, this again. Yep, that's fine. More loyalists. Economy is in a good place. Maybe we can build more construction sectors. <clears throat> um, I am... I'm not running greener grasses over here. I want to. You no longer can complain. Oh, we have an acceptable government. You haven't seen that in a while. See bourgeoisie and industrialists for 100% or... No matter what, the bourgeoisie has to be in here with the Rexists. Uh, let's keep the industrialists in there then. That's fine. Okay. Any... Laws? Who would support pri uh, public health insurance? Trade unions, Catholic Church. Unlikely to put them into power anywhere. <clears throat> no one wants multiculturalism. Okay. I mean, maybe I could pull in someone. Some sort of agitator. Oh, my slots are full. Do I want to kick any of these guys out? Like you?
Because you're supporting migration controls, which I don't want. Um, I'm sorry, what are you pushing for? Oh, poor laws. You also want migration controls. No, but... <clears throat> could have more technocracy. Lots of people for technocracy. If we want to invite all of them. Yeah, okay. There's no way for us to look at a law. Like, um... Oops. Let's say I wanted public health insurance. It would be great if here there was a button to like, show me, show me agitators for public health insurance that I could invite. That would be kind of a convenient feature. Wow, the bourgeoisie are going crazy. Our strong middle class, I guess. All right, go, go power plants. We're still subsidizing. Although the economy is okay. Oh yeah, you're going over your limit, which is fine. Um, here, we'll grab you in there. Waiting for many barracks and... Yeah, just lots of barracks and lots of different things from being built. Yeah, I should not queue anything else up for a little bit. Except for potentially considering construction sectors. Do I want to just go to 30 in Flanders? <laughs> I don't know about that, but I will go and queue up five more. And we're going to spread them out just again to try to balance out the job seekers. Let's do it. Wow, between these two, look at this percentage. Like, the marginalized groups are so marginalized. We are at 0% Catholic Church. I guess our um, atheistic uh, conversion is working out well. And convoys are still having a bit of an issue. I guess I didn't alt-click those. Well, they're pretty high up in the list in the power plants. Okay, that's fine. Let me not mess with, around with anything else. The convoys are going to happen. Again, this is just making sure we have a power plant in every single one of our states. Oh, we're fifth overall. We've surpassed the United States. It's not so much that we've gained a bunch. I think they may have dropped a few points. Are they having war times or? They never manifested destiny in this playthrough. I'm really jealous here for our Mexico run. Or maybe Mexico just like fought them off. And I think we are going to get a bunch of extra prestige here from our military, right? That is one of the lines. Yeah, power projection, army and navy. We did build those extra naval ships, so that's part of it. I assume they're here already. Yeah. We got a couple admirals going on. Oh, ironclads. Oh, yeah, we needed the admiral for that. Defense, offense, prestige. Sure, I'm going to take the prestige this time. Ports are going to kick in. Finishing off our power plants. Um, so I think these three were the last three states without one. So presumably when they're in there, we could do another attempt at changing some building modes. Maybe filling in some gaps. Our private constructors really like to spread these out all over the place. So I think it's because there's a lot of cheap labor. And our construction good prices, they're all fairly reasonable. We could potentially use a little more glass, a little more steel. But I think we're okay. Okay, positive convoys, and yeah, hopefully some to spare. Smoke and cabaret. Oh yeah, well, well, this place has it all. We'll lose some authority, that's okay. I don't suppose anyone else would like to join our customs union, huh? An Oman. Where are you? over here. Hmm. We'll take Oman. I'm going to just wait for some of the others, because I, I do plan on being active over here in a military sense. Any oil to import? Oh, there is finally! Nice! So I think, uh... 
yeah, minus 1k. We can basically import all the oil the world has to offer. And then still build more. We've got things in queued, though, so not going to do it yet. More ports. We're going to get overkill on convoys, but that's okay. Okay. Do I want to gently consider changing some building modes? So meatpacking would still be good, very profitable, but would eat into our oil some more. So we have to wait for that. It actually consumes less grain, kind of the opposite of what we want. Oh, these patent stills. Hold on. That doesn't consume more grain. It actually needs more employees. Do I want to do this on a state by state basis? Oh, well, I definitely want it in Flanders. Yeah, electricity gets more expensive there, but that's okay. I think 52.5 is the cap for the electrical price, so that might represent a shortage. Togo is completely fine, though. Oh, it's so hard for me to notice. Hold on, that little extra power symbol. Okay, I might just have to build some extra power plants in Flanders. Benin. Okay, I guess I don't have to pause, maybe. That, okay, it won't cap it out. It'll make it more expensive. That might cap it out, so we'll wait on that. Ooh, that would be potentially losing some money. Maybe I should focus on the power looms here. See, Zululand clearly doesn't have enough electricity. Okay, most of these are okay. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and do this, force it. Almost certainly that's going to make some places with an electrical shortage. Um, and, you know, our queue is pretty full, but I think this is going to be fine for me to go and alt-click in the Delta, alt-click in Cameroon, alt-click in Zululand. Fix those power plants. Hopefully that'll be enough. And even if it's not, it might prompt some private construction afterwards. Well, it'll probably even have to get rid of the shortage. I mean, I don't know how much they're short by. Um, yeah, so we're going to produce 50. They'll still have a deficit, but they won't have a shortage anymore. So that's going to be okay. A lot of electrics industry coming online. Barracks, those power plants, those barracks. Whoa! Listen, you jerks. Uh, is there a quick way to find the embargoed ones? I guess it must be these. I don't even know why I was trading with you, you jerks. You know, I'm going to embargo you. I'm going to embargo me. No, 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 my friend. We're going to embargo you. If you wanted any of my goods, you can't anymore. Oh, the matter of business. Do that again, that's fine. So, listen, Netherlands, what kind of troops you're packing? Okay, quite a few. I have a defensive pack with Blungan. You don't really have many friends. We might be able to just take you if we just power up our military. Diplomatic tour for the industrialists or influence. Ah, we'll boost the industrialists. That's going to be fine. Okay, these guys are going to get their power. Hopefully this shortage is going to go away pretty quickly. And we're still subsidizing that stuff, and that's okay. Electricity shortage in Zululand, except there we go. That's gone away as well. Um, these are places they must be low on infrastructure. You know, it might be worth... Um, railway, sort by infrastructure. One, two, three, all alt-clicked. Doing that. Naval bases are now coming in. That's good. Convoys are okay. That's nice, too. Where are our priorities? Well, the Ottomans should be easier to take. They're, they seem to be not quite as tough. Let me alt-click one of these oil rigs just to start getting these to fill out a little sooner here. 
Council Republic. Oh, the socialist stuff? I fashion. You know what? All the groups that are in power absolutely freaking adore us, which I hadn't realized. It's insane. So yeah, we'll be the fashion capital of the world. Very stylish Belgians. We're almost surpassing Prussia here. Our GDP is triple their size. Standard of living is better. Actually, our GDP here, what's it like? Per capita, we're number three. We're the fourth biggest economy in the world. Third biggest per capita. There's our automated bakeries. So I want uh, over here, our food industries, automated bakeries. Just uses more tools, which you have plenty. Frees up 107,000 laborers. So that's a go. And then, yeah, I was going to go back to tech stuff. Flamethrowers for the kill rate. Kill rate is huge. Infertile grounds. Oh, you know what? You can... Whatever. Okay, a little more oil, which is still expensive here, which is fine. Coal is expensive too. We're just going to continue to be okay. Yeah, Niger actually might need even more railways than this. Oh, the engine price is expensive. I wonder if you should get a motor industry. Just one local motor industry for you. Oh, you already have one. Okay, I'm going to alt-click that. Oil. Oh. Uh, yeah, we're not actual slaves. Belgian Eastern New Guinea gets oil rush. Okay. Rubber rush and matter of business is fine. Okay, that didn't actually unlock any new slots here. Just the rush for the oil? All right. So yeah, extra little motor industry there is fine. Against the British Empire. Um, oh, they want to protectorize Oman. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't go up against the Brits. That's annoying, though. But I guess it's not a. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Navy. Yeah, you're still building up. We still have a bunch of the barracks and the queues as well. Right? I mean, we still need these oil rigs. Well, do we need this many? I tell you what, I'll bring down this count a little bit. I suspect we will want a ton of these, but we'll bring it down some. The oil price going, well, yeah, but we're about to fl flip more buildings to more automated modes, which are going to consume these. I'm sure of it. Are you having employment problems? You still have peasants. Is it a qualification shortage? I mean, it looks like you are hiring. Some of you went away. Aristocrats in sus subsistence pastures are satisfied. Really? You guys are going to have to pay more wages. Okay, I guess it doesn't make sense to be building more of these oil rigs because they are having some employment problems. Maybe I'll just put you on auto expand. So as things fill up, we'll do that. And we might just need more engine industry somewhere else because Niger may not be able to... I think the one we were looking at was filled up. Maybe not. Maybe it was just full of cash. Maybe it, was, it wasn't full of employees. That might make some sense. You know what? I don't really want them to have more interest group approval, the two bourgeoisie. So we don't need to make them like, them, like us more, but... We'll click that button anyway. Yeah, we're going to finish that oil well because we may as well, but yeah. The problem with here is still been just the number of people. Um, there, There is migration happening, though. That's good. Anyone else we might be able to bring into our customs union? Yeah, more people over here, which maybe, or we just conquer them. Nejd over here. I wonder, if we were to just conquer you, would, do we happen to have any oil available for discoveries? Yeah, there are discoverable resources. Politically, what's your situation? Um, right, defensive pact with... Oh! With not the Ottomans. 
with these guys. Is that what we do? How come I can't do this? Because we're too friendly. Let's damage relations. And damage a lot of relations over here. <clears throat> These guys don't like us. We can take you on. Okay, it's 40 minutes into this episode. I got to put a cut in here. But maybe we do that. Current Navy size is 32. So we will be able to drop our armies in. Uh, I'm going to keep this little baby one around. Give us some flexibility. Naval invade with these guys, maybe. There's no way. They're listed as having zero battalions, which is interesting. Oh, do you like me too much, too? I'm confused here. Oh, yeah, it is amicable, but why can't I worsen relations with you? Oh, I can. I just couldn't see it. Um, I can expel the diplomats. It'll give us some infamy. But it's going to accelerate this. In case you're channel chan chan the challenging me back. Maybe I'll expel these guys. Bigger target will start with you. You're still cordial, but it'll get things accelerated. All right. I think we might have a plan for war. Are these market accesses? Is it just a shocking lack of infrastructure? No. Oh, it's our convoy situation again, which would be nice to resolve before we go to war again. Ugh. Never going to get to go to war. I'm never going to have fun, you guys. Oops, that's one too many. Cancel that. But our queue's nearly getting there. Yeah, they're just going to finish these two barracks, go into the ports, fix these convoys, worsen our political situation. All right, or diplomatic situation. And then we war it up. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.